Hi all, welcome to Force Galaxy. So the today's question is like this: In the future method, what types of parameter we use to pass and the reason behind them? Okay. So all must you aware about this future method and all you must know that all in the future method only the primitive data types can be passed as an argument or as a parameter. Okay, so let me first tell you what comes under the primitive data types and what comes under the non-primitive data type. Okay, so in primitive data types so there comes like the string, date, date, time. Okay, float, decimal, all these uh, float, decimal, string, all these comes under the primitive data type. Okay, and the non-primitive data type in Salesforce are the S objects of standard and the custom objects. Okay, like the S objects, uh, the collections of S objects and all these comes under the non-primitive data types. Okay, and in the future method we can only pass the primitive data type okay and if you try to pass directly the non-primitive data type also so you will get an exception there that you cannot pass this non-primitive data type so now here the uh, next comes question why only the primitive data type we can be used to pass okay so you guys must be aware about the point that in the future method we cannot uh, track its execution time okay so whenever we used to call this future method and the time it will going to execute. So in this time period, there is a possibility that at the back end, someone or someone user or using or due to some automation, the record might get updated. And if you directly pass this as object or the record this directly to as a parameter. So what will happen as we are also unaware about when it will going to execute. So what will happen? This future method will going to take previous value only, but in the backend they are already updated between this time period it is executing, and in the method it will perform the logic on the old values only. So due to which we will get the wrong data updated. Okay. So to avoid this, what is the what we need to do? Match the IDs of this record, and after getting the uh, passing the IDs in our method, then we will going to query the records and perform our or logic on the method okay so this is the one way so now doing this we will be safe from getting the wrong data updated and getting the wrong values okay so now some if someone is curious or wanted to pass these records only or this s object only as as a value in a parameter and want to perform logic on these values only so what you can do you can serialize this data as object data and you will get a string value now you can pass this string value in the parameter and after passing this as a parameter now in your method you can deserialize this to the as object again so you, now in this case you will get the same values which you have passed okay so i will show you over the screen this how you can do this okay so but in this case again you will be in risk that your data might get updated at the backend but you are performing on the logic in your in your method on the previous values only okay so this is the way which you can do or you can perform at your own risk because in this case you might get in a risk of getting wrong data updated so let's move to the screen and i will show you how we can decentralize and serialize and get the data values okay now we also have a way to pass the s object through the parameter in the s uh, future method now uh, as you can see i have one trigger so in the trigger i have passed the value of trigger dot new by making it or converting it into the string that is i have used the json dot serialize due to which my all the values are converted to the string and now this string will be passed as a future method parameter so my condition to pass the parameter to future method is also satisfied because now i am passing the primitive data type that is a string so now once i pass the value now in the future method what i will do i will deserialize this string and what we will get we will get the list of accounts so this is the one workaround or a way to pass the s objects values by converting them into the string you guys understand the reason and the question okay and if you guys have any questions uh, which you want me to explain you you can share over the comment section okay we will meet you soon in the next video